Now, we got something a little special we're going to be doing this go around. We're actually on location down with uh, CRS cousin Dominique. And you guys might remember we had um, profiled Dominique down at the Louisville Truck Show about all the painting and stuff that CRS is doing. Well, I came down and uh, wanted to share some of this moment with Dominique. And so I decided to come down and actually come take a ride with him as we went and picked up this beautiful Peterbilt that you were riding in right now. And guys, this is um, this is really a cool, cool venture that we're actually gonna do. We're gonna follow this truck actually from start to finish on this new paint scheme that's going on. And we came down that, uh, with, with Dominique so we could ride up to, back to the shop. And Dominique, Man, thank you first off for giving us opportunity to ride with you, man. And, of and course, I appreciate you coming down. This is absolutely cool, and, and we're kind of taking up from where we left off in Louisville. So, Dominic, tell me a little bit, what, what are we actually going to be doing with this beautiful peak we just picked up? So, this one, we matched it to the cab for the, the actual color that the cab came in, and then this one also got a uh, seminal scheme added to it. And uh, what we're going to do is... Now that the sleeper's been painted, we are going to match the uh, the stripe job across the back of the sleeper, the sides of the sleeper, and uh, make it all seem seem all as one. So, did you all actually paint this sleeper already? Is this? Um... Yeah. Yep. So when when we get these from ARI Legacy Sleepers, we we paint them off the truck, but in order to match the striping to the way that it lays out on the cab, uh -huh. we have to get the sleeper mounted, and then we essentially repaint the whole thing. To add the stripes into it. Okay. So this is actually but going to be an on on the tractor um, paint paint yes. job on this one, right? Yep. Yep. The sleeper is already mounted, and uh, we're we're ready to match the stripes up. Hey guys, like I said, we're actually down here. We're riding with Dominique. We're going on our way back to the shop now, and I want you to guys just we're going to take a walk around the tractor and actually take a look at everything and. We hope you like what we're getting ready to do here because this is going to be a kind of cool project to actually see how these are actually painted and they're going to be painting stripes on this thing so it's not vinyl so dominique let's let's do it buddy let's do it Thank you so Fun, very thanks. much. So, Dominique, we're looking at this beautiful rig now. Tell me and let the audience know, what are you about to do to make these two come together? So, like I was saying uh, on the ride, this right here came factory. And, you know, it's the it's old school seminal, the thing that everybody loves to see these days. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, basic stripes, and that's, that's what's really, really seems to be in right now. So, these stripes obviously only run through what was painted by the factory. Okay. Now we paint the sleeper, we match it to the cab, and in order to run these through as they should so that everything's seamless, we need this box mounted on here. Okay. So now we're going to sand this whole finish down. We're going to recoat with the charcoal. Mm -hmm. We're going to lay our lines by hand, okay. coming across the back of the, the sleeper box as well. Okay. And then back up the other side, we're going to spray our black and then we're gonna re-clear the whole thing so we have seamless lines. And guys, we're gonna follow this a little bit closer. And Donnie, you said you're gonna go from all the way wrapping around here. And the, right. and the cool thing about this, Dominic, how many, how long of a, do you have to do this? Oh, uh, we have about uh, roughly a week um, working days. And that is to, you know, prep, cover the cab, make sure everything's protected from any kind of overspray. Uh, then we have a base coat, then we have layout, yep. and we have our accent process. And then it's going to go across the street there, and it's going to get fully sanded and buffed for that smooth shine that you saw at the show. 
And I tell you what, guys, we're going to follow this one all the way through. Dominique, I'll be back in a little bit, and we're going to make it, make it happen. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Dominique just took me on a ride, and it moves me to a break that they're doing, that they're adding real paint to. And a lot of you guys said, oh, Quinn, there's a lot more to it than just paint. Well, paint is what you see first. So let's take a look at some of the stuff that's going to be going on here. And you guys, this is going to floor you. It's an old school, new school feel, and I think it's going to really, really excite you. So hang in there. Next week is going to be the finale. It's Quinn, Elegance and 18 Wheel. Take a look at the snippet. <laughs> kept the audience a little bit in excitement and um, we've got to be looking at this big beautiful truck here that you got standing behind you but we're not quite done with this truck yet are we no not quite so it's uh the paintwork is done and uh, the, the all the detail work sanding and buffing and so on so everybody knows you know to be legal you got to have all your numbers on there and right so we're taking care of mr williams on, on getting his dot plus some a little bit of additional uh just cool stuff and this is another division of what CRS can, can do, correct? Yes, so everything is designed by road skins like we talked about at the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, at this one in particular, because it's a smaller install, I'm going to just go ahead and take care of this myself. But okay. you know, once it gets a little bit more complicated, i got to bring in the experts. <laughs> well, let's take a look at it. What exactly have you done here? We see some of the stuff you've got laid out here. What exactly are we doing here now? So, you know, just kind of rough measuring it up so everything's even across the across the board uh, we got the rendering up there just to make sure that i know what i'm doing as far as placement goes and then uh, at that point we just peel and stick so do we have to follow through on anything with the customer okaying this is that how this go that's why it's laid out like this so i i took photos for mr williams i sent them to him um and he is actually at ari right now he'll be heading down here pretty soon but he gave me the okay to go ahead and slap these suckers down Okay. Well, I tell you what, we're going to let Dominique get back to uh, slapping these on here, but we're going to take a look at how he's got this laid out. And, um, and after a while, I mean, we're going to be rolling this thing out of here tonight, right? That's right. And then it'll be going back to ARI. We worked our magic. ARI will finish up their magic, and then Mr. Williams will take his truck home. And we're going to be there for the end product of that too, correct? That's right. So we just got a little bit more to go here, guys, and we're going to be seeing this baby in completion. But we're going to give you a look at it before uh, it leaves here because we're going to follow it back down to ARI. So we're going to let Dominic get back to this. Dominic, thanks for it, man. Let's, let's see you work. Thank you. With the, the green tape that's on there, what, did, what is that marking for? I see you use two different color tapes on here. What so, does that green tape help you do? That, that green tape, I got it, it, it's one inch tape. So that way we're, we're making sure to stay one inch above that stainless because you know we want the graphics to all be even distance from the stainless. Okay. So it's just kind of a cheater rather than measuring it all out. Gotcha. I gotta ask you a question. Yes. Is it a time frame? Because I know this is fresh paint. Is it a time frame that you gotta wait before you can apply your decals to everything? So the the advantage of this vinyl that we're using right now, uh, since it's uh, you know fairly fresh, like you just said, it's it's called airy grass, and it has little channels in the glue. Okay. And for one, it allows once you're you're applying it, it allows it to 
squeegee out any bubbles and then also it'll allow the paint to keep gassing out. Wow. But so, yes, typically speaking, you're not supposed to do any kind of vinyl graphics or uh, sealants or anything like that for 30 to 60 days. Gotcha. And you, you were telling me the, the paint process on this. How many coats of clear? Because I, I touched this and you can't feel those stripe lines in there, man. Um, how many coats are so on you? We, we do three coats because uh, typically speaking, we do a, a pretty heavy skim buff. And oh. in that skim buff, we're taking off about a co half a coat to a coat. Okay. So we want to make sure there's plenty of UV protection still there and plenty of clear left behind. Wow. you put these beautiful graphics on here man tell me how long do, do do they have to wait now before they can actually wash the truck or or they'll mess these these decals up how, how does that work so the the decals they're good to go right away um they'll relax out a little bit in the sun or, or just over time you, okay. know, you won't see the the glue lines anymore okay. but you can wash the truck right away now a fresh truck painted like this one uh it's gonna be a little more susceptible to scratches and whatnot okay but they'll be right in it as long as you know you don't you don't beat it up too hard okay well guys we're gonna let him get back to finishing this one up and we're gonna pull her out here in a little bit dominic this has been cool to watch man thank it's you it's been fun thank you guys it's Quinn elegance on 18 wheels guys like I told you last week we were down here shooting it was raining and and it was real sloshy but we had this beautiful Peterbilt roll into the doors at CRS and you it floored me like I told you guys get ready for what you're about to see well they did this transformation over the last week and you would not believe how beautiful this rig is behind me we're talking old school versus new school and it comes together and you have a beautiful combination but what was so cool for me I actually got a chance to actually meet the owner of this beautiful rig Lloyd Williams had me rolling I love this man he um he had, he had me so excited we, we were both like kids over this truck and um <laughs> I'm loving this but everybody right now I want to give you an opportunity to actually meet the man himself Mr. Lloyd Williams. Lloyd. Yes. How you doing? Doing great. Doing great. <laughs> awesome, sir. <laughs> oh, Lloyd, you got, yes. me, you got yes. me rolling, man. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Everybody, yes. this is Mr. Lloyd Williams, and he owns this beautiful Pete that CRS just got done painting and, and putting this together. Lloyd, how do you feel right now? Like a little kid at Christmas. <laughs> this. As you'll see, when we walk around, yes. it's the nicest truck I've ever had. And there are many guys out here that will see this video, uh -huh. and they know how my equipment is. Uh -huh. This exceeds everything. And There's nothing. Tell me, tell me, what, 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 what turns this one on for you? The paint. The paint. The paint is the first thing that you see on a truck. Exactly. And when exactly. the paint and everything else goes together, the inside is just... <laughs> just icing on the cake. And I want you guys to understand, this is not, Lloyd is not new to this. Lloyd, how many trucks you've actually had? Eight. Eight. And we're not talking average truck. We're talking big bunks. He's one of the godfathers of the big bunks oh. here. So <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're not joking here. So, guys, no. this no. is, is going to be beautiful. We're going to walk out. 
and we're going to be looking at this and uh, we're about to pull out there. We're going to be headed back to ARI because we, as you can tell, we've got some lights and stuff we're going to put on. But see, we'll be back next week and we're going to do a full blown photo shoot and everything so we can get Lloyd on our calendar and all that other good stuff, man, because this one is an absolute plus. Yes. But first, Dominique, get over here. Yes, sir. Dominique, you knocked it out the box, man. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun. I and love doing this. Yes. And Dominique, we talked about this when we were down in Louisville. Yes. About how we were going to come together and put that old school, new school feel. Mm -hmm. And guys, this is it. This knocks it out the box. Like I said, you'll see it in a few months. We're going to roll out into the sun, and you can actually see this. Mm -hmm. But we got a grand reveal. That's why we haven't showed the truck all the way. You saw it coming in in the rain. But yes. when it goes out in the sun, it's <laughs> yes. what's going to really reflect. So... Dominic, tell me, what, what, how was it to shoot this? What, what was it? Uh, it, it, it it's, it's great. It's great to get back into the old school. I mean, you know, we've, we've done a lot with, with uh, different kinds of designs. And, you know, the thing that's really catching people's attention right now is the old school look. I mean, yes. it, it's, it's where it's at. And that, that's what gets us excited. And we, we, just, we just saw how Dominic put all the graphics and stuff on it. All the vinyls went on it. And like I said, we can roll this bad boy out. And I'm getting ready to bug Lloyd more than you'll ever know. <laughs> As always, guys, I'm, I'm about to be kissing the bumper on this one, too. So stay tuned. We're going to be right back. I'm going to show you what this bad boy looked like in the sun. Lloyd, let's roll out. Let's man. roll out. Let's, let's roll do out. It. Guys, we're about to see this bad boy pulling out the shop. I hope you like it as much as we've been waiting to see this. There it is, guys. We've been waiting on this. Lord, what you think? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Words don't put in what they've done here. This is drop dead gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, guys. I've been waiting to see this, and this is everything that I was expecting it to be. We got a beautiful day to, to, to look at it. But the thing is, we, she's not done. This is just the, the touching of it. Yeah. We're going to walk around this now and take some closer look at it. And then we're going to take it on the ARI. They got a little more goodies to put on here. But like I said, next week, we gotta, Lloyd's going to be back. And we're going to actually do a photo shoot on it. And we're going to have him ready for the next calendar shoot. So, guys, let's walk around this. And like I said, don't step on my head because I'm going to be kissing the bumper on this one. <laughs> Quinn, Elegance 18 Wheels. I got Lloyd Williams. Uh, Dominique. CRS, we get ready to have a good time with this one. <laughs> See you guys in a little bit.
All right, Dominic, we got it done. Yeah, we did, we did. So, we looking at this bad boy in a completed state. We're, they're about to take delivery of it or take it back down to the dealership. Yep. Dominic, how does it feel, man, to get it done? It, it's great. You know, uh, I think I said this before, I love these projects. I mean, when you, when you go cradle to grave with, with the owner especially, uh, I give them exactly what they're looking for. It's just, it's, it's thrilling. It's exciting. I love it. And I love it too. And it was such an honor for me to follow you through this and uh, to show our audience exactly what it is it takes to, for you to do what you do. And man, my hat is off to you guys. You knocked this <laughs> out you. the park. Thank you for coming along for the ride. This was absolutely <laughs> beautiful. So Dominique, if they want to get in touch with you, tell them one more time how they can get in touch with you. Call or text me, 269-262-2059. Uh, we'll take a look at what you got and what we can do for you. And guys, it's not just the big bunk stuff. They can do whatever it is that you want done to your truck too. That's right. So give CRS Customs a call. And guys, we love this. We're going to look at the truck a little bit more. And I'm going to look inside. Dominic, thank you so very much. And thank I'll be you. seeing you real soon. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take care. Thank you.
we're down here. We just got done filming the last segment of the Lloyd Williams project. And guys, I hope you liked it as much as I had fun recording it. We had an absolute ball following this truck from the time ARI got it to the fact that they got the sleeper bunk done, putting it on, and all the way through CRS getting it painted. And now we're in a stage where it's getting ready to leave going to St. Louis so that Lloyd can actually pick it up. And it was an absolute stunning project, as you can see. We're standing in the sleeper right now, and this, this is absolutely beautiful. And Lloyd, I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving us this opportunity. But you had said you wanted something as a memento of, of this occasion. So I got you the photo that you said that you wanted. You said you wanted my autograph, and you got it, my man. I wanted to give you this picture, but it's, it comes with a, a stipulation. In order for you to get this one, I need mine. So we're going to either one of these, you got to autograph for me and get back to me. And then we'll call it even. How about that? Hey, man, I had an absolute beautiful time filming your truck and, and talking with you and meeting you. Thank you to ARI for giving us the opportunity to be on location and shoot with them and CRS Customs for painting this beautiful truck and giving us, giving us that opportunity to stand there and watch and, and, and feel and do step by step with them how they got it to where we are today. So guys, this is Quinn, Elegance on 18 Wheels. We're having a beautiful time. We're getting ready to let this truck roll out of here because Lloyd needs it. He's got to go to work. We'll see you later. This is Quinn, Elegance on 18 Wheels Magazine. We'll see you real soon.